back everyone and today we have a 2017 Audi S3 no we did not buy this car on crypto but one of our subscribers here who is big into the crypto and owns quite a bit of Bizogoth and Shiba purchased this car brand new back in 2016 actually in December and this car is all stock with just the sport exhaust this is a phenomenal daily driver. So if you're thinking about cashing out on any crypto and you need a daily driver, this is one of the cars to get. And let me show you why. Let's take it for a little run here. This car really pulls. It is quite a fun car, and I have quite a lot of seat time in this car. When this car was just maybe three or four months old, actually maybe about five months old, we took it down south for a nice little road trip, and I put around, I think, 1,500 or 2,000 miles in the driver's seat of this car. It's just phenomenal. It grips amazingly. It just, look at this. You point, and you go. That you don't see that anywhere else. This is a phenomenal car, just stock. Just stock. This car is it's just great. It's it's a car you must drive and you must own to really appreciate it. But we should probably get around another corner so you guys can really see how it pulls. But let's get out of this neighborhood first because we've been uh been driving quite fast around here. So what makes this car such a great daily driver? Well, there's a number of factors. Obviously, the main reason is it is all-wheel drive, perfect for any weather, any climate, any type of scenario. It's an excellent track day car. It's an excellent work car getting from A to B. You can put it in comfort mode and it just sips gas and it's nice and quiet, but it still has plenty of power to keep up with highway traffic. There's more and more I could list, but when this car came out, it was around fifty to fifty-five thousand dollars. This car, the way it was optioned with the optional sport exhaust, was fifty-five thousand dollars back in 2017. Obviously, this car was purchased in December of 2016, and there was a bit of a how do I say it? The dealership needed to move cars before the end of the year, so they gave a little discount on it. But could you get one of these? for a reasonable price these days. I was just looking online as I stopped and a 2017 with 68,000 miles will still set you back around $39,000. That is quite a bit of change for this car still. It has held up value quite well. Unlike a few other cars that are on the market right now, the pandemic also helps. Like I said earlier, this example, I have driven it quite a bit. I've taken it on the Dragon. We've done a lot of highway driving, a lot of everything. I've driven this quite a bit. I've actually got a photo somewhere to show you guys of me after driving it on the Dragon. And I actually got this car to wheel hop. That's how hard I had to get on the brakes on certain corners and certain banking. It's a, it's a tough car and I'm probably responsible for the factory tires getting pretty chewed up because this does have radar in the front so it will auto brake if you're going too fast and you come across somebody and that happened quite a bit on that trip because there was around eight to ten hours of driving a day so I did flat spot the factory tires when this thing came out just easily hop into one of these cars and drive fast and yada 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 well yes and no obviously the all-wheel drive system helps you quite a bit you just point where you need to go and it will hold the grip this car has phenomenal loads of grip it is amazing and if you saw earlier 
it really launches you back into the seat as it pulls you around a corner. But at those same speeds, I drove the DB7 and it did not launch me into the back of my seat. And that is a rear wheel drive car. But I had to use different steering inputs to keep it from breaking loose on me. With the Audi S3, I don't have to do that. I just got to point where I want to go and keep pressing the gas. If you get scared and let go and you hit the brakes, guess what? You're going to crash. You do not reset your position or get another chance of life if you hit the brakes when you cock up, obviously. If you're losing control, if you're braking front or rear and you hit the brakes on an all-wheel drive car or even on a rear-wheel drive car, you're just going straight into a wall or sideways into a wall or something. It's not good. So you do need to have some driving experience when driving any of these fast cars. It's not just a, I've got the money, let me hop into one of these and the car will work itself. Well, that is partially true with the all-wheel drive systems, seeing how as I'm contradicting myself. Things do go wrong. And sometimes when you're pushing it to the limit at that point, if you don't know the tire temperatures or the outside temperatures or the grip level of your tires or your brakes or even what's on the ground, you will hit its maximum point. Even if it feels like you have plenty of grip, once you hit that maximum point, sometimes the car will let go. You will need to know how to control it, how to restabilize the car and how to rotate it out of trouble. Unfortunately, the brake pedal does not do that for you. It does not help you. You need to be able to counter it with steering inputs, either opposite or with it, and also using throttle. And sometimes you actually just have to let go of all the pedals while it's losing control and just use steering input and let it coast a bit and then put in some throttle. But if you guys even know, you guys look on YouTube, you can see tons and tons of videos of people crashing exotic cars and all sorts of things. So you should maybe jump into iRacing, do a little stock car racing that really helps you know how to rotate around a corner, and even Gran Turismo Sport. It will actually help you, it will actually help your driving skills quite a bit. And the last thing really about this car that you have to know is it's brilliant. Everything works. It handles great balance there. It's just, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal car. I'm surprised they built such an amazing car that's just all around great. Just, I, I love this car. I would buy one myself if the price is used just one through the roof. Just that engine well we should go return this car to its rightful owner before any of us get in trouble but if you like my review on the Audi S3 and you have any comments on it just comment below if you have any questions I've driven this car extensively so I can answer you tons and tons of questions and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, obviously. And I will introduce you to our friend that we bought when this car was brand new at the Georgia Aquarium. I'll see you guys later.